What's up guys, welcome to another video. I do apologize that it's been a bit, it's been quite hectic over the past few weeks. Um, work, car shit, etc, etc. It's like 100 degrees today and I am trying to make this video but I keep getting tired, I keep getting exhausted because it is hot in my room, it is hot outside, it is not fun, I will be honest. Nonetheless, this video was highly requested from everyone who saw the Firefox video. This is basically the KDE ricing tutorial and basically how to get something close to the rice that was shown in that video. Now, there are a couple of barriers to making this video. Um, first off, I completely switched it over to using BSPWM because I find that to be a lot more lightweight and efficient and I will be making more videos based on that but also KDE and other desktop environments that I end up trying out. And the other major barrier to this video is the file size of the dot files are just insane. They're like 3 gigs and exporting that to GitHub is an absolute pain and trying to upload that to Mediafire or Google Drive would be honestly just a headache which is the main purpose of this video and the latte doc files will be included in this video of course so with that being said let's get right into it <laughs> So this video is going to be split into four sections, Latte Duck, Widgets, Theming, and Wallpaper Engine. I split it up this way so that we can go into the key parts of the rice and to make it so that if people want to skip around the video for certain key parts, they can. So the first part of this is Latte Duck, which I believe, I think I may have taken a template somewhere else and heavily modified it. I am unsure, nor do I unfortunately remember. So if someone ends up finding something that is close to this, please let me know in the comments. But the templates and the file files for latte doc are going to be the only files that I'm providing because again the dot files are huge and with everything that's going on I do not necessarily have the time to try and condense these but again with KDE you just need to look up a couple of things in the KDE store and you will find practically everything I used the taskbar on top has a application launcher an indicator right next to it which shows the active activity or window and then on the right we have the system tray the better clock widget and also a a windows button widget which basically recedes when the current active window is not maximized and then expands when it is when the window is currently maximized the bottom taskbar hides away and that bottom taskbar has an application launcher on the left pinned tasks and applications on the middle then a recycle bin then show desktop button i made the move to latte doc when the stock kde taskbar was not doing what i wanted to do so just made the simple switch and i have not regretted it since basically all of the taskbar ui you see is all latte doc and the files will be provided in the github repo in the description below Part 2 of the race is widgets, which are present on the desktop and taskbar. And ironically, there are more taskbar widgets than desktop widgets present, but the desktop widgets displayed are now playing and minimalist clock, which they're not key parts of the race, but do what you will with that information. The taskbar widgets will be listed in the readme of the GitHub repo in the description, because I went through most of them in the first part of the video. But the main thing with the taskbar widgets is that they adapt to what is on screen if a application is maximized it will adapt and show the window buttons on the top right the main idea with the taskbar widgets is adaptability and giving contextual options based on what is on screen one issue that i did encounter is i actually did have a global menu widget which would basically give the file the edits the view options whenever you go into a window. I actually had that on the main panel right next to the window title widget. But unfortunately, it seems to be discontinued, but I definitely know that it is easily obtainable. So if you guys are able to find where that is and whatnot, uh, it was on the KDE store, but it seems to have been removed as of the recording of this video. But besides that, everything else should be listed in the readme markdown file in the GitHub repository. For the third portion of this video, we're going to be talking about theming, which is probably one of the more easier parts of KDE racing. If you go to the Discover Store on KDE, you will find basically everything that I'm going to list. And again, check the GitHub repository. But again, theming in KDE is very easy. Color scheming, again, very easy. So again, you really shouldn't have to worry about this portion. Now again, with extensions, I will get into that really quickly here. The two extensions that I have are associated with KWIN, which is the window manager for KDE. There are scripts that again, you can get within the KDE store that 
basically activate when certain conditions are met. The most notable ones that I currently use that do affect the rice are Force Blur and hiding the title bar whenever the window maximizes. Again, these will be listed in the GitHub repository. The Force Blur extension, I only have it to where it affects my terminal and Yakuoke, which is a drop-down terminal that is KDE native. The terminal I use is Kitty, which is, I believe, a fork of Alacrity. I believe, I am unsure. But Kitty uses GPU acceleration to generally perform better and is available on Linux and macOS. And it's honestly one of my favorite terminal emulators to use. It is quite easy to theme Kitty, just use the command that is currently on screen, and I believe I'm using this theme. So basically, you would use this command, and then you would use this theme. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to check your screen if you're listening to this in the background, but basically, use this and you will be able to get the current color scheme that I have. But there are numerous preset color schemes that you can choose from. For the final part, we're going to be talking about Wallpaper Engine with KDE. Um, of course, the wallpaper will be linked in the description below. There are numerous tutorials on how to install Wallpaper Engine and the plugin necessary, but I'll just kind of run down the basics. You're going to want to install Steam and already have bought Wallpaper Engine on the Steam store. Then you're going to want to go and enable Proton in your settings and install Proton so that you can install Wallpaper Engine. Once you have Wallpaper Engine installed, you cannot run it through Linux by its application. You need to install the KDE plugin, which you can get off of the KDE store. And then you will locate the Steam library, which should be in home.local, and then I believe it's in the share folder, and then you'll find the Steam folder within that. To get new wallpapers, go to the Steam Workshop and subscribe to the wallpapers that you you find in the wallpaper engine workshop page and then you should be able to find them using the wallpaper plugin that you got from the KDE store and there you go of course there are more detailed guides that you can find and if you guys want me to make a more detailed guide on wallpaper engine please let me know and that concludes the KDE racing tutorial. I'm sorry that this guide was not more detailed, but I thought to get it out a little bit faster than usual. Of course, if there's any questions or concerns, please use the comment section and I'll apply as soon as I can. And most of the information that I can provide will be in the GitHub repository in the description. I just want to thank you guys for your continued support, and I'll be creating more Linux and tech content in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.